Hey everyone, welcome. I am back. Um, I, my name is Jen O'Sullivan and we have a low screen here. Let's see if I can fix that. I don't know. Um, but I'm back and we are going to be doing a con content talk on digestive enzymes. And so many of you guys are curious about digestive enzymes and how they all work and how we can move forward with them well, um, because digestive enzymes have a whole host of things that help us. And again, I apologize for the screen being so low. Um, this is sort of sort of the way it goes here in my office because I got too many video cameras on me right now. Um, we do the best we can. It's a little better. Can we move down? <laughs> like it's like all sorts of bad going on right here um but it is what it is i can't really slouch when i teach that's super weird all right so uh welcome back i've been having so much fun with you guys teaching you guys all about supplements this is not natural supplements week i sort of joked that it was like national natural supplements week because I know so many of you guys are from different countries. I would love to have a shout out if you are from a different country. Um, I am coming to Canada next month, um, November 1st, for a rally out in Moncton. So if you are on the east side of Canada or the east side of the United States, and you want to come hear me speak live, I'm super excited for that one. It's going to be a huge event. And then I'm coming to Singapore just before then on October 19th. Uh, I know people flying in from Malaysia and Indonesia to come hear that talk. We've got that talk sold out in about, I think, two or three days. Um, there's They're at almost just at a, a thousand people for that event. Um, both of them should be around a thousand people. So I'm looking forward to it, you guys. And um, and then I've got travels to all over the place and other places. So those are my two international things coming up. So if you live in that area, I'd love to have, um, I'd love to come meet you. So definitely come to one of those. And if you want more information on that, you could message me and I will um, let you know how to get in. And yes, I'm bringing the supplements book to that. We haven't launched it yet. And the question that was asked in the last video before we kind of get started here was, when is this getting released, the book? And when can you, where can you get it? Um, one of the pain points, okay, so one of the things that has been so frustrating for so many of us is the fact that we can't make sense of all these supplements. There's so many and people feel like they're overdoing it or not doing enough or maybe doing the wrong ones or taking them at the wrong times or maybe they're, you know, messing around with their meds. Like there's, there's so much confusion surrounding supplementation. And while we love Young Living, there's not too much they can say when it comes to certain things because they're not doctors. I'm not a doctor, right? All we can do is help you guys understand the product and move forward that way. But where I step in is I'm going to give you deeper layer, like a deeper layer of, of helping you understand how these things work. And I, I hope that's what's helping alleviate some of this, I think, major pain point. Um, never before in my entire time of teaching you guys, have I had so much like excitement over a new book. So this is my eighth book um, for you guys. I've written 11 books to date, but the eighth one on health and wellness. And I can't even tell you, like people are messaging me all the time. Like, when is it going to be released? When is it going to be out? And for me, just to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory for me, I need this book. Okay. I'm not kidding you. I I was at gold retreat and I brought my Royal crown diamond with me, um, on gold retreat, which is super fun. And, um, she was asking me some questions and I'm like, I don't know. Let me check my book. And she thought that was hilarious. Right. Well, how am I supposed to know everything? Right. Like one of you guys was asking me today, um, which, which products contain a certain, the element because I can't have that. She's like, my doctor said there's this element in certain supplements that typically is there. And I want to find that question because I want to answer that question. But um, it was uh, some element that she was wondering. And I'm thinking it's pretty easy because now you can literally look up in the back of my book, what supplements contain like bee pollen, and it will list all the supplements that contain that vitamin or mineral or amino acid or digestive enzyme or anything. So this book has answered a lot of questions for people. It has helped people take their supplements more, more properly. And what I mean by that is, I don't know what the problem is, you guys, but you aren't reading your labels. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people say, these are the supplements I'm taking. How should I take them? And I'm like, read the label. Like the label literally does tell you when to take it. But I think 
you know, we almost need the lazy girl guides to supplements, right? We were joking about like the lazy girl's guide to essential oils. We need the lazy girl guide, lazy girl's guide to um, supplements. So, so that's, uh, I just wanted to kind of help you guys out with that because that's, you know, my heart in this was helping you all to make sense of it, get a better handle on it, help you guys really enjoy taking supplements and take the, the kind of fear out, if you will, of, of like wondering, wondering what you can and can't do and how it all works. So I'm excited. So I didn't answer the question yet. So let me answer the question. The question is, <laughs> Yeah, supplements for dummies, right? The question is, and how large do of a purse do I have to have? <laughs> I feel the same way, Denise. Denise just said, like, I now carry a very large purse so that she has all of her supplements. I'm gonna have to show you my pill thing. I, I've gotten from CVS one of those, those like long, big pill cases for like old people. And instead of doing the Monday through Thursday, I just took a label maker and put like sulfurzyme. Agile E's, Super C, Super B, like all the pills that I typically take. There's about seven that I typically take if I want to travel. There's a couple that I leave in the thing because they go bad. So like I definitely leave, um, you know, Mighty Pro in their own sachets and I don't put Life 9 in there because Life 9 needs to be refrigerated and I don't put Immu Pro in there because they get all chewy and gross. So there's things that we leave in there and things that I travel with. But yeah, you're exactly right. It's like, we need to have like all of our supplements with us and you know, you need to have the ones that work for you. Not everybody's going to be the same. It's not a one size fits all. So the question, the answer to your question of when and where is this pain reducing book, you know, that's going to actually help you uh, manage and, and decipher what, what supplements you need will be launched in two places specifically. Okay. On Thursday, that's in two days. Okay, so mark your calendar. On Thursday, they will be released in the afternoon in the Founders Group. So if you want an autographed copy, it has to be purchased on Thursday and you have to be in the Founders Group and it's free to be in the Founders Group. So that just means you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SDR book. Anyone is welcome in there. I will be posting a link on Thursday afternoon, um, probably around, uh, I have to look at the calendar, but probably around noon or one Pacific Standard Time. And it will be open cart for that group. And I'm not posting it anywhere else because that's going to be the people who have helped me. And even if you haven't helped me, I'm going to allow you guys in there because, and because, and this is important, and this is why we are allowing anybody to be in there. We released this book at convention, this one, and it has the white circle. So if you have a book that has a white circle, this was a pre-launch copy. That means it does not have Illuminize and all of Essentials in here. So some of you guys are like, ah, oh, I need to have that information. Those two supplements, there will be PDF printables posted in the group this weekend. So it's important for you to get in that group if you're like not wanting to buy a book. It's fine. doesn't matter to me. I want you to have the information. Okay. So uh, the book has changed though. There's a lot of content that has changed. So the ISBN number will be different. And that's a, a law with ISBN that if you change more than I think 10% of the content of the book, you have to actually do a second edition. So this was an ARC advanced readers copy. The book now says first edition. So you will have a first edition book and the cover image is actually a little different. So just to kind of show you guys here, um, the cover image has a couple different supplements on it that's changed. So just so that you can see, it's just a little different. And it does say first edition. My name is bigger on it. You can actually see it. Uh, Life Science Publishing was laughing at me. Uh, Troy was like, can you make your name a little bigger? Because you can't see it on this one. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. That's super weird. But anyhow, there you go. All right. So that link, um, somebody can post or I can actually post it here. www.facebook right.com forward slash groups forward slash SDR book. Okay. So you can just link through or just copy and paste that or type it in in Facebook. Or when you're on Facebook, just look up S, you know, supplements desk reference, or I think it's SDR founders team, something like that. It says, so very excited about that. Are you guys ready to get into digestive enzymes? Because I am, and there's a lot to discuss. And I know I said, we'd only go like short today, but I'm always, my, my husband laughed at me. He's like, yeah, right. You get talking on these supplements and you can't stop talking. So let's dive in. Okay. All right, let me see if we can start recording the podcast. This is also offered on podcast. 
I'm on Facebook Live and I'm on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live. <laughs> so we're doing the best we can here. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for bearing with my technically challenged self here. It's just me. I have no camera people and we have cameras like stuck up everywhere. All right. So let me make sure I'm ready before we get there because I got to have my notes up because man, I can't remember everything when it comes to digestive enzymes. Okay. Are you guys ready? Thank you. Thank you, Buffy. I love that she's on. All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to talk about digestive enzymes. And can I tell you, it is so important to have digestive enzymes that um, this was another thing we got discussing on our talk with my functional medicine doctor on the plane, right? And what was interesting that he said was that I, he didn't think that you needed them every day. He, he thought that, you know, just like how I told him his endocrine system will get used to that coffee that he was drinking and he would, you know, his cortisol levels would just kind of take a vacation. He said it's the same thing with our digestive enzymes. So you want your body to work too. Your body does create digestive enzymes. The problem is our food sources have changed so much that our digestive enzymes are not really processing it properly because it doesn't quite know what it is. So in the case of like lectins, when you consume a whole mess load of wheat, your body is sort of like, I'm not sure what that is. And so the digestive enzymes that your body typically creates lets it pass through and then it gets into your gut and then your gut goes ballistic and then you get sick. So this is why, and I'm sick meaning like if you're a celiac, you start having a major response. And that's something that we want to consider that lectins, and if you've read the plant paradox, which I encourage you guys to read, you start understanding that lectins are a plant's defense mechanism. What happens is the plants don't want to be eaten by the animals. We're the animals. Their survival mode is this toxic kind of bitter tasting stuff that they produce. It's usually in the shells or, you know, when you eat an apple, like if you peel the apple, you know, if you like peel it, take some time to do that. I mean, who does that? But if you peel it, it just tastes sweeter. When you eat the apple skin, that skin is bitter tasting. Same thing with an orange, right? The rinds are bitter. That's where the lectins are stored. Same with seeds, anything like a tomato. Those tomatoes have those lectins high, high in the seeds. Um, things like beans and legumes and things that, you know, they have lectins in them. Even your rice, right? So oddly enough, eating white rice is healthier for you than brown rice because the lectins have been removed. I mean, doesn't that sound so counter? intuitive to what we've been taught. And the thing is, when we start to understand that digestive enzymes are the key to us functioning, <laughs> okay? And and it's, it's a fascinating thing. Um, Gary was asked one time at one of his live events, Gary Young is the founder of Young Living Essential Oils, and he was asked, what is the one product you would want to keep if you could only keep one. And we're talking about one, not one essential oil and one dietary supplement, but like one total, okay? And you know what his answer was? And this was a while ago, so it was before we had Essential Zymes 4. I wonder if he would have answered Essential Zymes 4 now, but he said Essential Zyme. And he was known for taking tons of enzymes, when he would travel, he would just eat tons. I know of some Royal Crown Diamonds who take an entire sheet of Essential Zymes 4 with every meal. That's And and hello, like they look super young. They, they look fantastic because it helps with all sorts of things. Digestive enzymes, I mean, when you start really understanding them, they work for so many things. So the question always comes up like, well, which one should I take? And it's not really about that. That would be like asking me, which essential oil should I use? And I'm like, all of them. <laughs> okay. So we're probably the only company that carries multiple digestive enzymes. We have five. Uh, we have essential zyme, essential zymes four. Get They get confused because they're similar in name. You have allerzyme and detoxyme. Plus you have a kid's version, mitizyme. So adults can take my design, no problem. And it's just, it's good to know that there's all of this 
uh, beautiful things out there for you. Okay, so one of the things that um, we are going to start carrying, but for the launch, this is coming free with books, is a digestive enzyme breakdown sheet. So you're going to be able to see all the digestive enzymes, what enzyme is in it, and which one to take. Okay. So the question then is, you know, if your doctor is coming at you with a pharmaceutical based enzyme, you can say, hey, I can take these instead and just match the ingredients because you've got them all listed here. Now, Young Living doesn't put the percentages or the amounts of each enzyme that's in there, and that's not too important. And here's why. If you take them the way that they're recommended at the recommended times, they work beautifully. Okay, so let's just go over all the enzymes that Young Living has, not the actual names, not the specific like essential zymes for and essential zyme, allerzyme, detoxime, and mitozyme. Let's talk about the actual enzymes and what they do. So amylase. So when you see things that end in ACE, that's usually an enzyme. So there's certain words that you see and that's just what it is. So amylase, alpha, um, galacti, oh brother, these words, right? Gal galactosidase, if I can say these words, right? But alpha galactosidase, uh, bromelane, 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 man, brother with spelling, right? Uh, cellulase, diatase, uh, gluco, glucoamylase, invertase, lactase, lipase, peptidase, phytase, protease. Protease has three different versions, 3.0, 4.5, and 6.0. So usually they're a combo. Um, pa uh, papain, um, betaine, HCL, uh, pan pancreolipase, which is technically a pancreas gland pig, uh, extract from pig, um, pancreatin, which is pancreas from pigs and, and cows, and trypsin. Okay, so these are the, sup the um, enzymes that are in our supplements. And so the best thing to do is to look at your diet and what you're eating and what's going to work best for you, right? So that's what I love about all this. Okay, so if we were just going to look at, say, the broadest reaching enzyme, if you were just saying, I, Jen, I can't do all of them. I just want one. What's going to be the one that's the best one? I would say Essential Zymes 4. It is our newest one and is a the best kind of broad reaching. It has amylase, bromelane, um, bromelane uh, cellulase, and then it has the phytase. It has all the proteases. Um, it has papain and it has um, pancreatin. So it's not vegan, right? That's kind of a question that people have, like, how can I take this? What is it? What is it good for? But if you were to then take this book, that's going to relieve a pain point for you. And you were going to look up essential zyme, essential zyme or essential zymes four, right? Because those are two very basic ones to get started with, but essential zymes four. And let's just kind of break this down. The amylase that's in there breaks down starch, breads, and pasta. So those of you guys who love your starches, breads, and pastas, which have tons of lectins in them, right? Because you're an animal trying to eat a plant and the plant doesn't like it, meaning the bread grains, and it has all of these lectins in it. You need something that's going to help that pass through your digestive system without causing problems. So amylase is a big one. So the bromelain is um, important because that one is helping to break down meats, dairy, eggs, grains, as well as seeds, nuts, and leafy greens and others. Um, it helps support your blood. And that's that's what we want as well. We want things that are helping to support our blood that is totally involved in your digestive process. All right. Cellulase, cellulase breaks down man-made fibers. And why is that important? You guys, we've just been talking about this this whole time about during the supplements week that one of our biggest problems is that we're eating foods that are synthetic, that have petrochemicals in them, that have preservatives in them, that have not natural things. And so by using a digestive enzyme that's going to attack not natural things, that's a good thing, right? So that's where cellulase comes into place, but it also helps... Um, break down plant fiber, fruits, and veggies. Um, lipase breaks down dietary fats and oils and also helps support your liver function. 
When you get into the protease, remember there's three of them. And so you want one that has all three. 3.0 helps your circulation with and toxicity. It has a higher acid content. So that's what these um, numbers refer to. It's the pH balance of it. So 3.0 is going to help break down animal protein. Because when you eat animal protein, remember what I talked about yesterday. You're putting high acid content into your body and your body will leach it from your bones or wherever it needs to leach calcium from to placate that acid. But instead, if you're eating something that has protease 3.0 and 3 and 4.5, which are higher acid content, that's going to help break down that animal protein. Okay. And that's really helpful for your body. So the 4.0 um, helps with, uh, it has a little bit lower acid content, but it's still helping break down those foods that match that acid content and it can help with kind of your airway and stuff like that but protease 6.0 6.0 is a necessary enzyme that helps carry away toxins and it's the least acidic so it's doing that all of these are doing different things within our blood and our digestive system okay papain is really good because it is considered a digestive aid um, and it helps with all sorts of interesting issues that you may have. And so just know that it's been studied and noted in medical studies to help with parasites, right? Things like that, that seem like this would be very non-compliant. But when you start to understand, like, we're talking sometimes about, we're talking about things like probiotics with bacteria, good bacteria, bad bacteria. So there are good parasites and bad parasites. And so we want to have a, some sort of support to help with potential things in our body that are kind of going wrong a little bit. So pat pain is very interesting. And I encourage you guys to look that one up on, um, on Google. Okay. Pancreatin is basically pancreas extract from pig and cows or cows. It depends on which one and they don't list which one it's just a proprietary thing, but it helps produce other enzymes. So what that's doing is it's going to help your body keep producing enzymes. So where my functional medicine doctor was telling me on the plane, you know, be careful to not overdo it with digestive enzymes. At the same time, if you're doing a digestive, a, di a digestive enzyme that has um, pancreatin or pancreolipase, right, these digestive enzymes that help your body work properly to produce the right enzymes, then that's what you want. So you're looking for something like that. Um, and these, like I said, it just helps produce other enzymes like amylase, lipase, and protease. Um, and it's really good for people who know they have a poorly functioning pancreas. You guys know who you are. Um, this also contains bee pollen, and that is highly touted to support inflammation. It helps support your a healthy immune system and menopause. Um, and bee pollen contains so many vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, right? Everybody knows that it's like such a good thing. Um, there are some digestive supporting essential oils in essential zymes for such as ginger, fennel, tarragon, anise, lemon, lemongrass, and rosemary. So the deal is with essential zymes for is that you want to take two capsules with, um, your largest meals. And you can do that twice daily. So like lunch and dinner, you can just do it once daily. It's up to you. Um, but you take two, the dual blister pack. So there's two different pills in there. You take both of them uh, just before your largest meal. And I love that about essential zymes four. Now, if you move to essential zymes, which again, people get confused and think they're the same, they're not essential zymes. You have to take about a one hour before your largest meal. And, um, it's a dual time released capsule, but that one you really only need to take one a day. However, I know Gary was known to take like lots. Like when he was traveling, he would just like pop a bunch. I do that too. I don't do it every day, but I will take a bunch of those just kind of in between sometimes at the end of the day. It just helps to break things down in your body and helps keep you moving well. So this one has the bromelian, uh, which breaks down those meats, dairies, and grains, and seeds, and nuts, and leafy greens, um, helps support your blood. It has the papain, which is also like we just talked about, the parasite things, and a digestive aid. This one has um, betaine HCL. So betaine hydrochloride um, helps promote the production of hydrochloric acid for digestion. So this is a very important thing for some of you guys because it helps you to absorb B12, calcium, iron, and proteins. So this is one supplement that has this in it that is unlike any other supplement. So this is one area where some of you guys are like, oh, that one is a little different. 
And that's, that's a call out piece. So I want to kind of help you understand some of these call out pieces. This one also has um, the pancreatin, just like essential zymes four. So we talked about that. That's a pancreas from pigs or cows, but this enzyme is the only one that contains pancreolipase. Okay. And I want to make sure I'm correct on that. Yeah. Pancreolipase. So beta, um, B betaine HCL and pancreolipase are found only in essential zyme. And what that one does is that uh, pancreolipase is also good for poorly functioning pancreases. So it's um, an extract from pig pancreas. And so I want you guys to um, consider, right, who in your life needs help with their pancreas? Uh, my husband is one of those people. And so when you understand what the, that is, uh, you guys know your bodies. You know what's going on. When, when you start working with your doctor on things and they tell you different things about parts of your body, that this is what you would use over even essential zymes. If you have sort of a poorly functioning pancreas, essential zymes four would be great. But when you start looking into what you need for the betaine hydrochloride, hydrochloride um, which helps produce hydrochloric acid, that's basically your digestive system is not functioning properly. So Gary loved essential zyme. It was his favorite. The downfall to essential zyme, I will say there's one downfall that none of the other digestive enzymes has is that you have to take it one hour before the meal because it's a, it's a tablet. Uh, and so it has to digest. So there's a little trick that we do. So if you forget, because lazy girl's guide here, right? I, I don't have time to forget. And I forget things <laughs> is just take a glass that is a uh, flat bottom and you'll take that capsule and you'll crush it. Okay. It's a tablet you'll crush it to get it, make it into a powder. And then that just sweep that into like a little glass of, you can do Ninja if you want, or just a drink, just a little shot of water and spin it around and knock it back. That's going to, that will break down that capsule. Now, Young Living will say not to do this. And the reason they will say not to do this is because the capsule itself is a dual release, a dual time release capsule or tablet. Um, and what that means is that it's releasing the outer area first to help with digestion. But then the second part of that is, is getting into your digestive system in a different area and helping with a latter portion of your meal processing. That's why they say take it one hour before your meal. So I'm going to ask you to please remember to take it if you are doing essential zyme only one hour before your largest meal. And you can do that for two meals if you want. You can even do it for all three. But if you are forgetting, it's better to just crush it and take it than forget it and not take it at all. Because when you, if you take it like with your meal, it doesn't quite work the same. So just to help you. Okay. Um, and I do take both of these and remember I take essential zymes four usually. So today at lunch, I took essential zymes four. I won't take essential zyme today, but I usually bring that when I'm traveling or if I'm go like my mom's wedding, right. I take it to put things like that. And I take all of them. I really do. And I'm going to explain to you why in just a minute. Okay. So when you get into, let's move to, so those are the two essential zyme, essential zyme four, help you guys understand the difference. Let's talk about allerzyme and detoxime. Now allerzyme is the only vegan supplement or excuse me, vegan digestive enzyme. So you can go ahead and take that one if you are a vegan. And um, I have heard it said that it is the strongest of all of our dietary supplements. Now, I don't know that it's the strongest, but it's specific, right? All of them have this specific thing that we use them for. And so Allerzyme contains, just like Essential Zymes 4, amylase, okay? Detoxime also has amylase and Mitozyme also has amylase. The only digestive enzyme that doesn't have amylase. Now remember, amylase breaks down starches, breads, and pasta. The only one that doesn't have that is essential zyme. Um, allerzyme and detoxime are very similar profiles, and we're going to get into what's different about them and where you would want to take one over the other. But allerzyme has alpha um, galactic to oxidase. I can't ever say that word, but that's when you're eating foods that cause a lot of gas, right? So if you know you're going to eat something that's going to make you gassy, like gassy girl, right? You take allerzyme or detoxime. Those are the only, only supplements that we have that have that specific gas eliminating thing. <laughs> okay. So that's important to note. 
Bromelline is in all of our supplement, all of our digestive enzymes. So just know that across the board, that one's good. That breaks down sugars and grains and all that stuff. So good stuff. Cellulase, everything but essential zyme has that. So again, that's an important enzyme, but but essential zyme doesn't have it. So that breaks down those man-made fibers and plant fibers and all that good stuff. Okay. Diatase, or excuse me, diastase. Diastase is um, found in allerzyme only. Okay. So what does diastase do? Diastase, and this is a controversial one, so I want to help you understand it. It breaks down grain, sugars, and starch. Okay. The problem is that it is sourced from barley malt. And so barley malt, and, and by the way, allerzyme is the one that everybody says take if you have celiac. But the celiacs are like, wait a minute, there's barley malt in there. Okay, I'm a big celiac. I have serious, serious, serious issues with any gluten. And um, I can take allerzyme, but I can only take it with wait for it, um, essential zymes four. So whenever I take allerzyme, I use essential zymes four. They work beautifully together because the items in essential zymes four help with the, with the allerzyme. It's a beautiful combination. I take two allerzyme and the two capsules of, um, essential zymes four. That's just what I do. Okay. That's right before I'm eating a meal where I probably am going to get glutened. When, at my mom's wedding, it was inevitable. <laughs> okay. So, um, and this was just this last weekend and I did not get glutened. Okay. And I enzymed up. That's what I call it. I enzymed up. It's crazy amount of enzymes that I'm taking over the weekend. I don't do this all the time. It's just when I know that I need them. So the barley malt question is, well, am I going to have a, a, a reaction to that? Okay. The way that our barley malt is processed is that there is no there is no, um, it is, it is harvested before the gluten parts of that come into play. Like they actually take out the gluten air parts and it's just the barley malt. It's not the, um, I forget the, the technical term for it. I actually wrote about this in the book. So it is in there and it talks all about what the difference is between this. Um, I guess I can get it for you in this one. Cause that was an update. We updated it and I wanted to be able to like share this information with you all the questions you guys had, I was like, we need to answer these hard questions. So um, let me read it to you. So this is an addition to the new book. And that's, again, some of you guys are asking, like, what is the true difference here? Okay. While this supplement is noted to, to contain barley grass, barley malt, which is a possible contaminant. So this is what happens is that it gets contaminated. The barley grass itself does not contain gluten. All it is is in the manufacturing process, sometimes it can be contaminated. And that's an important thing that people say, well, if there's any potential for cross-contamination, I'm out. The only way to have a gluten response from barley grass is if the production of the grass was contaminated with barley seed, which contains gluten. Young Living's Allerzyme contains clean barley grass. However, it is up to each individual to decide if they are going to try the su supplement. Allerzyme is specifically noted to help support the proper digestion of wheat products. So I just wanted that note to be in the new in the new book, the updated one, because there's some confusion surrounding that, right? And and I can't tell you to take it or not take it, but I have chosen to try it and I love it. Okay. So that's kind of a little bit of a, a thing there. Uh, for you to know. And it's the only one that contains di diastase. All right. So moving on, um, if we're going down the line of allerzyme, um, and we'll get to detoxime in just a minute, uh, invertase also is in allerzyme and not in any other supplement, but detoxime. So remember like essential zyme and essential zymes four have very similar, but a few call out things that are important, why they're different. Allerzyme and detoxine are very similar, but have a few call out items of what make them different. Um, so the invertase is an area where they're both the same, but this is the only, these are the only two supplements that have this and it breaks down table sugar. So what that means is if you have a sweet tooth and again, I'm at my mom's wedding, I'm eating things that I shouldn't be and I'm eating cake, right? And she was so sweet and got a gluten-free cake for me. So that was great, but there's still all that sugar, which is so bad for you and I'm going to eat it 
right? I'm not, I'm not stupid. We eat cake. And um, that's gonna, that helps. That helped me not have this crazy, like bloated, gross feeling. So invertase is super important because it breaks the connection between fructose and glucose. You guys, I'm reading this from my little chart here. I can't remember all this stuff. I'm starting to, which is awesome. And I do know that like the ones where it's the call out things, but man, how cool to be able to say, okay, what is this doing? Okay. Lipase is only found in allerzyme, detoxime, and mitozyme. And lipase works with dietary fats and oils and helps your liver. And that's in allerzyme. Um, peptidase also is only found in allerzyme, also in mitozyme, but we're talking about the adult supplements here. What that does is it finishes breaking down proteases. And we'll get in, that's, remember the proteases have the 3.0, 4.5 or or 6.0, the pH balance thing to help break down meats and stuff. So what that's doing is that breaks down the meats, but then the peptidase helps break down the final job that the peptidase a protease did. So it's supporting your immune system in a big way. Um, and we want that. That's allerzyme. Uh, phytase is also in allerzyme, but it's also in essential zymes and detoxime and mitozyme, but not found in essential zymes. So it's essential zymes four, excuse me. Um, but that helps with bone health. And what it's doing is it's pulling the, the needed minerals from the grains so that you're getting what you need into your body. Like these are fascinating things when you understand what all this stuff does. Um, Allerzyme only has protease 6.0 and um, I'm, it's a little questionable. We're still working with Young Living on this to find out if this is true or not. Cause usually when a supplement has protease in it, it has all three of them, but um, they only have listed protease 6.0. So you know, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. And that's what we've listed here. Cause that's what we know so far. So that's it for Allerzyme. Whereas when you move into Detoxime, you get the same things like amylase, um, the alpha. So let's just talk about what's different, right? Because it's a, pretty much the same as allerzyme. If you go down the road, the only thing different is it doesn't have the diet diet taste. Okay. Um, let me just go down the row here <clears throat> and make sure um, it doesn't have the, um, the, the, uh, what is it called? The peptidase, but the difference here, and this is what I love about detox um, detoxime, which is very different. And this is again, why would you use this differently is that detoxime has glucoamylase. Okay. So glucoamylase is it breaks down starchy foods and like cereals, but here's where this one gets very interesting is this specifically flushes your body of dead white blood cells. Okay. So it's really good at detoxing your body. So how do you use this one? This is where you might pop two or three of these right before you go to bed, right? Honestly, this is where you take these at night to help digest some of the foods that are still kind of lingering in your body. So where some people say like, I just need one digestive enzyme, I have all of them because I use them all for different reasons. So that's where I encourage you guys to just consider in your regimen where you might be taking them. So I take essential zyme when I'm traveling, when I'm um, going places where I'm going to eat lots of odd foods, right? I'll take those kind of randomly throughout the day. Like you don't even have to take those with your meals, nor should you. You got to take them at least an hour before your meal. And then essential zymes for and allerzyme, I often take together. That's what I do. I like that as a combo. Um, sometimes just essential zymes for. So like when I know I'm going into a situation where there's going to be a lot of sugary things or like a party, I will take essential zymes for and two allerzyme, <clears throat> like right before we start eating. And then at night, if I feel sort of still funky, you know, sometimes at night you feel like bloated and a little heavy, you can then take one or two of detoxime. So detoxime is great for so many different things. You can actually take it as your normal digestive enzyme. But I like that kind of idea of getting rid of some of like helping my body digest the extra stuff in my body and flushing my body of those dead white blood cells. So that's, that's the kind of rundown. When it comes to my design, it's just a general, more light version of all of this. So I, I pretty much, if I'm looking at the breakdown, um, it's almost like essential zymes meets allerzyme because it does have the lipase and the peptidase, right? But um, it just has a lighter, lighter version of everything. So that's where for your kids, for adults even who have a hard time swallowing pills, that's the way to go. So all of this is explained in the brand new supplements desk reference set to release in a couple days. 
you're also going to be able to get this brand new flyer. We're not selling these yet. So you get this free with the book as like a bookmark. And then, um, Eventually, I think if you guys love these enough, these little usage guide charts, we will um, carry them. But this is our ending to our digestive enzyme grouping. Uh, this is probably the largest video I've ever done on explaining all of them. It's probably still a little confusing for you as it is to me. So that's why I love the little chart. It's like a, my little cheat sheet to know how all of this works. But my goal for you is to feel better, is to do better is to get more done. And I will end by just saying this, that people ask me all the time, like how I can be so hyper productive. Now you guys know, right? We talked about this earlier that sleep is important. I do get a lot of sleep and my husband knows like my wife needs her sleep. But outside of that, I look at things like digestive enzymes. Um, I take them all the time. I look at things like certain supplements that I know I'm missing in my diet that I need more of and I ebb and flow. Okay. So what that means is I'm not being a crazy person taking all the same supplements every single day, all the time. I listen to my body. Gary wanted us to listen to our bodies, feel what we need, what's working, what's not, you know, if you, if you stop taking something, do you feel worse or do you see yourself like declining in health? If you start taking something, pay attention. It might take one or two years for your body to actually adjust fully. The general rule of thumb is 120 days. Whenever you start anything, stick with it and know that you're, you're watching for your body, seeing what happens. Some of the protocols in here are very clear that they're short run protocols, but other ones you can take for a longer term. Generally, 30 days is a good trial starting period, okay? So I hope this one has been helpful for you. Um, let's give away a book real quick to those of you guys on the live video on Facebook. And then we'll do, for the next video, we'll do a lot uh, giveaway on um, on my live for YouTube. So let's choose somebody. I want to see um, somebody commenting right now who wants a free one of these um, we had two winners yesterday we're going to have two winners today uh, I love our supplements week you guys have been doing so good and so I just want to see who wants a book I know it's like I'm just looking at the comments now and seeing which one of you guys is like all for it um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording for the podcast while we go through the book giveaway because I can't give away a book on a podcast because that's kind of awkward because <laughs> it's not live once we post it on the podcast. So um, thanks, you guys, on the podcast for hanging out with me, and um, we will see you guys on the next one. If you ever want to get in on the free stuff, go ahead and get onto my Facebook or my YouTube channel. Always fun stuff over there, and be blessed. All right, so we stopped our podcast. So let's see what's going on on Facebook. Oh, you guys are so fun. I know you guys want to know more as much as you possibly can. I love it. Let's see. All right, let's give it to, and it's just random. I'm just, like I said, you just got to comment. You guys are awesome. So Bridget Rudolph Williams, and I don't know who that is, and that's great. So Bridget, congratulations. You're going to have to message me right now on Facebook um, with your address. Don't message my personal profile page because it goes directly to spam. Facebook is awesome with that. They just don't let anything in because I get too many messages each day. But message me on my author page. So it should say Jen O'Sullivan author and just message me your address, and we'll get that. Um, shout out to you guys. So I'm glad you guys were here and please tell your friends about this because this is a fun time to learn about all this stuff. And this is shareable on YouTube. So those of you guys on YouTube, this is share it with whomever you want. Those of you guys in the Facebook group, um, you'd have to invite your friends into this group to be into this group. And this group has a massive amount of content. And so those of you guys on the YouTube channel right now are probably like, what is she talking about? Um, I am a major educator in Young Living. I run my own team as well. I'm a gold leader with Young Living. A lot of people assume I'm a real crown diamond just because I'm out here educating so much. But I love educating and I love helping my people as well. So many of my team are on here as well, um, cheering me on, which I love them. They're amazing, amazing people. We have a great group of people. And just know that you guys on the Facebook group, it's uh, a little bit more in de detail education, right? So I can't wait to share with you guys more stuff. I hope this has been very helpful to you. And my goal is to give you as much solid, really useful content as possible. So I appreciate all of you guys. And we're going to be doing hormones in just a few minutes. I'm going to take a quick break just to kind of like 
get a drink and um, my voice is starting to go. But um, thank you guys so much. And we will see you guys in just a few minutes. We'll say probably about five minutes. All right. Bye, you guys.